White men say weird things to me. Or do creepy shit they think I should be flattered by. I've never dated a white man before. I like to think it's because I've never wanted to stimulate my genetic trauma or wanted that kind of success to validate my accomplishments. I don't think my ancestors would consider their rape as race play and call it sexy. When I was in high school, I remember my bus driver pulling the bus to the side of the road near the woods. Some folks think the hood ain't got woods, but some hoods do. And I sat, stiff rabbit and waiting. It is in the silence where white men become the ones in every movie I've ever seen. Killers who still receive praises, Freddy Kruegers and Jasons. He moves in slow motion to the back of the bus. He wants me to know I'm seeing exactly what I think I'm seeing and I wanna see how fast I can run, but I can't move. So I try and disappear because how else are black girls supposed to use their magic? But it's my heartbeat that gives me away as he touches my hair, my shoulder, my thigh. He says, every day you leave and come back the same, pretty. Pretty, so pretty. And that's it. That's all he wanted me to know. He said it three times, so it must be true and traumatizing. Let's me off the bus and I never skip track practice again. In college, a white boy from across the hall is sitting in my room one night on my bed in the dark, with his pants unzipped, says he mistook my room for his. If I move, will they call it manslaughter or self-defense? In Boston, a white man told me I looked just like his mother, and I wondered if he meant his caregiver. Another one in Houston, snapped a close-up and showed me, see, now I own you forever. A white man in Wisconsin flicks his cigarette at me and promises to find out what hotel I'm staying in. One time in Seattle, I disappeared in a white man's blues. I can't remember if his name was William, Robert, Richard, Gary, Ted or any other white man whose obsession with killing gets romanticized for someone's breath, taking someone's breath away for collecting screams in jars, in basements, in attics. His voice was gentle and conning like, like I better be smart enough to keep my freedom. Like I better know how to stay in my own body. He asked if, if I want to go back to his place to eat some roasted pumpkin seeds. <laughs> That's some weird shit to say, right? <laughs> Creepy, huh? White men taught me that being a predator is a compliment. That I should smile while walking or running or hiding Shaniqua. Shantia, Anna, Harmony, Kania, AKA, no one turns over the earth when a black girl goes missing. That it's only a matter of time before no one finds me. <laughs>